Dragonflyer is the newest roller coaster to open up at Dollywood. It is the Vacoma family suspended coaster, and oftentimes these coasters are known for kind of not being that great. When you look at some rides like Flying Ace, Aerial Chase, they've kind of gained the nickname Vacoma Hang and Bangs, but a lot of the new ones are actually pretty great. Even if you look at some ones like Freedom Flyer at Fun Spot, that's a lot of fun. And this one, I would say, is right up there. It is a clone. There's a few around the world. There's one at Energylandia, one in Denmark. But this is the first one in North America with this layout. I personally have no problems with it being a clone, and it's a fun ride. There are some pros and cons with it, and I'm going to get into that later, but let's kind of talk about the basics. The main thing to start off with is that this roller coaster is part of a huge expansion in Dollywood called Wildwood Grove. It is a kid-centered area, and the main focus for this is that they want to make sure that all of the rides and attractions that you can do, you can do with your family. So as a result, this ride has a lower height requirement, and it is definitely family-oriented. It is not going to be one of the more insane rides of the park, especially when Dollywood already has some really thrilling roller coasters. I mean, right next door you have Thunderhead. So this is meant to be a stepping stone roller coaster. That being said, one of the constant things I kept on hearing from people that rode this ride is that they were surprised by it. It packed a bigger punch than they were expecting. I've heard many go as far as saying this isn't a family coaster. And I kind of have mixed feelings about that because I would say the first half of Dragonflyer will surprise you. It is going to be more thrilling than I think some people expect. However, the second half definitely definitely feels like a family coaster. When comparing it to Fire Chaser Express, I would say the first half of Dragonflyer is more thrilling, but the second half of Dragonflyer is not as thrilling as Fire Chaser Express. And by first half, I mainly mean the first drop, that turnaround, and that little transition that follows afterwards, before you really get into the helixes. The ride does not go upside down, but if you look at that first overbank, it is pretty steep. I think depending on what your definition of an inversion is, there might be a few people out there that say, well, hold on, I mean, is that an inversion? Because if you look at it from the side, the angle that it goes up at, it is beyond 90 degrees. It is a really fun overbank. And that's all right after the coaster drops you into a little tunnel. So like I said, this coaster packs in some surprises. If you're in the back row, you're going to get whipped over some of this stuff. So much so that if you're sitting in the back seat, you pull over four positive G's at the highest moment. You don't really get any airtime. You only pull about negative 0.2 G's on this ride. But it still amazes me that a family coaster pulls over four G's at one point. Like, that's crazy to think about. So in that regard, I can see why some people might say that, okay, this is a bit more thrilling than your traditional family coasters. But the second half, I would say, is a bit more of a slower pace. You actually go through two helixes, and so I feel like a lot of this ride is just turns. Which I think is okay, because... When you have a Vacoma family suspended coaster, there's not much else that it can do besides turn. But still, I think that I was like, okay, it's a little bit of a repetitive layout. But at least one of the good things about it is that this coaster is compact. A lot of this is just tightly woven into a narrow space. It is pretty much all on flat ground with the exception of that one tunnel. So I wouldn't really say that this ride uses the terrain like many of the other coasters at Dollywood do. And you know, I remember back when this ride was originally announced with Wildwood Grove and thinking, you know, that's kind of an odd fit for this park because they really did need an inverted coaster or at least some sort of ride where the trains hang below the track. But I don't think this is what most people were expecting. I always saw this park as being one of those that eventually get a B&M invert or something like that. But no, they actually decided to go with a family inverted roller coaster. So for that reason, I'd say we can probably toss out them getting an invert at some point. But I think that's okay. This is a very different ride from every other coaster in this park. Which again is why I say I have no problem with it being a cloned roller coaster. Especially since I'm going to guess that most people watching this video likely haven't ridden the other clones around the world. And it just looks good in the park. This is definitely meant to be a Dragon Flyer review and not a Wildwood Grove review, but I will say that the ride really does tie in nicely with the area. The tree is meant to be the centerpiece, but this is definitely the main attraction of that section. And it's just very picturesque, especially since there's a water play area right next to that overbank. And so it really just makes for some nice visuals. In all honesty, one of the only downsides with this coaster is that it can only operate with one train. That is how the ride layout is designed. The brake run is in the station, so it is physically impossible for them to have two trains. And Dollywood can get some really high crowds, so don't be surprised if this ride has one of the longest lines in the park. Though from what we are seeing, the dispatches were pretty quick. 
This ride is just a lap bar and seat belt. It's nothing overly complicated. If you're going to the park soon, I'd say hit Dragonflyer early. So for Dragonflyer's final score, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think it's a fun family coaster. I wouldn't say it's anything to shout at. I think it is a solid addition. Like I said, I think it will surprise a lot of people. Don't underestimate the ride, but also don't go in with the highest of expectations. But hey, those are just my thoughts on Dragonflyer at Dollywood, their newest roller coaster. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below if you agree with me, if you've ridden it, if you're hoping to ride it soon. The ride did just open, so of course you've got tons of time to get out to the park and check it out. But of course, if you're new to the channel, be sure to check out other coaster reviews I've done. They're all available in a playlist on my channel, organized in alphabetical order. And be sure to stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys next time.